Massive seabird die-off lines the Whittier beaches with carcasses. Some people reported that they were finding them every few feet. Thousands of dead common mirrors are washing up on the beaches of Whittier. An unprecedented die-off that has scientists wondering how many more dead birds will they find. Thousands remain uncounted throughout the Prince William Sound. Recently retired federal biologists doing beach surveys over the weekend estimated that there were more than 7,800 dead mirrors along a little over a mile of a beach. That's nearly five dead birds per meter. The scale of the die-off is unprecedented along the sound, some of the long-time old-timers are saying. It just boggles the mind, said David. There's been reports of wolves who've only been feeding on the hearts of the mirror because there's just so many of them, so it's like a delicacy for the wolf. The scale of the die-off is unprecedented along the sound. It's just mind-boggling. Fish and Wildlife Service biologists made the grim discovery in Whittier and sent alert to colleagues. Scientists don't know exactly what's causing the die-offs and associated mere strandings. The birds are dangerously underweight and emaciated. It's possible that the warmer ocean conditions have pushed prey fish deeper beyond the mirror's diving range of about 600 feet. So the mirrors, they forgot how to dive, they forgot how to locate their food. Where there's a disease or some other medical condition that's causing them to starve. Mutated radiate algae. So the birds are these are quite stressed. They're starving mirrors to the point of exhaustion and death. These birds are wicked skinny. No fat reserves. The mirrors being recovered this year is awful a way to die, and they're dying in mass. The dead birds are getting the public's attention. A Fish and Wildlife Service seabird expert got 50 calls over the weekend for concerned people finding dead mirrors on the beaches. It's turning out to be something that does have the potential for population effects, she said. It's off the charts for us what we typically see with these events. The recent discovery of the Prince William Sound die-off follows a highly unusual and sudden influx of disoriented starving mirrors getting stranded inland over the past few weeks. 